Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Raspberry Pi Sense Hat. Now this has actually been on the market for around three years, but it was actually created in 2015 and sent to the International Space Station as part of the Astro Pi mission or kind of Astro Pi contest. Now this is actually a really awesome little add-on board for the Raspberry Pi. It'll work for the Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3, 3B+, and the Raspberry Pi 4. In this video, I'm going to be messing around with the Pi 4. But I actually picked this up for a bigger solar project that I have going on with the Raspberry Pi. And I will have a video coming up in the next week or so on that, so definitely stay tuned to the channel. But since I had this on hand, I figured we'd go ahead and take a look at it. Now inside of the box you're going to receive a safety manual, you'll also receive some hardware, and this is all plastic hardware, we have some plastic standoffs and some plastic screws, and finally, the Sense Hat itself. Now this is called the Sense Hat for a reason, because basically it has a bunch of sensors built in. We can sense the temperature, pressure, humidity, it even has an accelerometer and a gyro built in, plus an 8x8 RGB LED matrix. So it's a very unassuming board, you can see we have the LED matrix here. 8x8 RGB, we can output data to this, or we can just log it in different software if we'd like to. But I think all the magic happens over here. We have a bunch of different sensors, like our accelerometer, our humidity sensor, our pressure sensor, and we also have that five-way joystick here. And in order to connect this to your Raspberry Pi 4, all you need to do is plug it into the GPIO pins. Assembly on this is very easy and straightforward. We do have all of that plastic hardware, so we're going to put our four standoffs here with screws coming in from the bottom of the Raspberry Pi 4. Once we have those on, we're just going to plug this right into the GPIO pins on the Pi, and we can put the four screws to hold the hat to the Pi itself. They're going to screw right into the plastic standoffs that we added. And we now have the Sense Hat attached to the Raspberry Pi. There's a little bit of software setup that we need to do. I mean, there's really not much because a lot of it is baked into the Raspberry Pi OS already. But I'm going to walk you through some steps and then we'll go over a few demos. Okay, so I have the Sense Hat plugged into my Raspberry Pi. I'm running Raspberry Pi OS. This is just the 32-bit version. The very first thing you're going to need to do is update your Raspberry Pi. So we can type in sudo apt update. Next thing we should do is install the SenseHat dependencies. We can do that by typing out sudo apt git install SenseHat. And you need to make sure you spell sudo right. I'm already fully updated. Now one thing I want to show you before we even get into it is the SenseHat emulator. If we go to programming here, you might have seen this before if you use Raspberry Pi OS or Raspbian. This is just an emulator for the SenseHat, so if you don't have one, you can actually just mess around with it right here. There are some projects or examples in here. We'll go to example, and we'll just do one of the simple examples here, humidity. This is gonna open up Thonny for us, Python editor. We can press run, and this is only gonna be running in the emulator. It won't affect my sense hat that I have attached to the Pi yet. Now, since this is just an emulator, we do need a way to control the variables outside because there's no real sensors in this emulator. This is where the sliders come in. So for humidity, as you can see, as we raise it up, we're going to get our LED matrix filling up with green lines. Now this can actually be used uh, pretty easily. So I'd say 50%, we should be around halfway full. Yeah, since this is 8x8. Eight eight. So if we're halfway through here, we're at 50% humidity. And when we're all the way lit up, we're at 100%. Kind of the same way for temperature and pressure here. So you can actually just look at this LED matrix here and find out a lot of information about your surroundings. Temperature, pressure, humidity, depending on what you're running with the Sense Hat right now. There are some other examples in here. We'll go to File, Open Example. We have some simple examples, Intermediate, and Advanced. But this is just the emulator. It's available to anybody. Just make sure your Raspberry Pi OS is fully up to date. And you might want to install recommended software if you're using a lighter version. But that was just the emulator. Now it's time to move over to the real thing. Now I would recommend reading through their getting started guide. I'll leave a link in the description. There's a lot of great little demos in here and they've set it up really nicely here. So everything you really need to know about the Sense Hat is gonna be on this page along with some challenges that allow you to kind of follow along with their code and get everything up and running. But the first thing I ran on this when I first got it out of the box and put together was a quick hello world. I mean, it's super easy to do and that will get you acquainted with using this. 
So the very first thing we're going to do is open up a Python editor. I'm going to use Thony, but you could use Mu or Mu, however you want to pronounce it. I'm going to go with Thony. And we're no longer using the emulator, we're using the real board here. And since we installed all the SenseHat dependencies through Terminal, we're actually ready to get started here. Now in order to control this, you actually don't need a Python IDE. You could actually use Terminal and just Nano. That will be enough to control this board here. But I personally like the layout here. They've made it easy enough for pretty much anybody to use. So this one is super simple. It's Hello World. We're going to print Hello World on the LED matrix. It's going to scroll across. You can actually customize this if you want to. You can change the color of the scrolling text, the background, and the speed. But we're going to keep it really simple here with three lines. First line being, from sense hat, import sense hat. Next line, sense equals sense hat. And finally, we need to tell the sense hat what sense we're going to be using, and that's going to be show message, followed by hello world, or whatever message you want to scroll across. Once we have this in, we can choose save. We can save it to our desktop or anywhere. I'm just going to name it hello. And the final thing we need to do is choose run. And you see it scrolling across right on that LED array on the sense app connected to the Raspberry Pi. Now this is just the tip of the iceberg of things you can do with the sense app. We were just using the LED matrix here. We also have that pressure sensor, temperature sensor, gyroscope, and that five-way joystick. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. We're going to move over to my desk, and I have a few other demos that I just want to show you on the Pi Hat itself. So the first little demo here is just kind of a little makeshift weather station. It'll give you the temperature, humidity, and pressure. Now there's a few things that I need to tweak in here because I do have it set to Fahrenheit, but it is not 93 degrees in my office right now. So there is something I'm missing here, but I'm still learning with the Sense Hat and I'm actually having a really good time with it. The next demo I wanted to show you is actually available on the Raspberry Pi website. This is called Flappy Astronaut, otherwise known as Flappy LED. It's a Flappy Bird type game that you can run on the 8x8 matrix and use the gyroscope to control the little dot or the LED here. I would like to set this up with a little joystick because uh, I just keep dying. I actually was doing a lot better earlier when I wasn't filming, but right now every time I try it, I just run right into one of the pipes. And the Pi community has actually come through and created a bunch of games that work on this 8x8 matrix, like Tetris, there's a treasure hunt game, Snake, there's even a shoot 'em up game floating around out there for this. But yeah, I think the Sense Hat is an awesome little addition for your Raspberry Pi. If you're interested in picking one up, you can get them from the Pi store or you can head over to Amazon. I'll leave a few links in the description. And like I mentioned earlier, I actually picked this up for a specific solar project that I have going on with the Raspberry Pi 4. And I haven't seen this implemented yet, so I do have a lot of work to do. Hopefully I could have this done in the next couple weeks. But I think one of my favorite parts about the whole Raspberry Pi deal is the community. If I'm not able to write the code or come up with a way for this to work with the ideas I have, I can always ask for help from the community and they pretty much always find a way to get this stuff working. But that's it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. Definitely stay tuned to the channel if you're interested in the solar project I have going on. And like always,